What's up, guys? It's Kimchi! And Tofu! Yeah! Alright, guys, we're going to Tower of God episode number 6. A lot of things happening. Yes. A lot of things going on. Mm -hmm. A lot of shady stuff. A lot of shady stuff is going on, and it's making us wonder what the heck. Yeah, I'm excited for this episode because for Rachel, mm -hmm. Rahel, Rahel. She's, uh, she's in the same room as Bam, or she's entering the same room as Bam. Yes, but she's asking a request from Kuhn. It's not saying that she's going to go hang out with him. It's saying that she wants Kuhn to do something for her. Oh, so she's not going in? I'm not sure, but she just said, I have a request. Ah, oh, yeah, she can just say, like, can you do this? Because Bam's not even waking up, that's nope, why. No, he's knocked out. Oh, that's right, that's right. Which, by the way, Bam has, is the Shinzu. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have the Shinzu. Is the orange soda. He is the orange soda. <laughs> right? yes. Bam is the orange soda. He's overflowing. Somebody shook him up. Oh, yeah, that's right. Put yeah. some Mentos in it. Mentos, that's only for Coke. Oh, it's only for Coke? Mm -hmm. Oh. I think so, right, guys? Mentos is only for Coke, right? I, yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, I think it's only for Coke. Ah, yeah. okay. Yeah. But all right, guys, we're going to episode number six. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Tofu, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's go. 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 Let's Oh, she's telling him Bam's story. Yeah. Why? Why? He came here for you. Mm-hmm. I think Rahel knows the rules. Oh, it's because of the acquaintance stuff? Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it's a private place. Oh, I, okay, I take that back. A burden? He's seeing the selfish side. Yep. <laughs> what is Gator doing? <laughs> Dude, he's got a soft side. Yeah, he has a soft side. You, you know he's here for you. He's worried about him. <laughs> this girl's learning the hard truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, poor guy. So he's, <laughs> he's not handsome. Oh, man. I, I think he's handsome. Huh? Is she here? Oh. Ah. Ooh. I thought Yuri was here. Oh, she was a fisherman? Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Oh, oh, wait. Look at her chocolate binging. What is up with that? I have no idea. Wait, so that means, you know how he was looking for the chocolates? So that means Rachel took all the chocolates then. <laughs> what kind of test is this? Ah, uh, oh, now we know, okay, fishermen. It's like ADC, tank, support, mid, top, jungle. Oh, so then what the princess was, the fisherman. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. I thought I read it wrong. Oh, that must be the support. Mm. Jungler. And this is mid. mid. Damn, this. Wow. Yeah, it's a mobile game right now. Yeah, Bam Bam will be wave controller. Yeah, he's mid because it's Shinzu. Yeah, Shinzu. Oh dang, so Bam lucked out. Oh, wow, she, yep. he's not telling him the truth. He's trying to protect Bam. Oh, so Bam got some uh, new gear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Bam, he knows that is... Rachel, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, he oh, looks good. Wow. Michelle Light? She changed her name. Oh. This is not good. Oh. 
Whoa, what is this, a rice ball onigiri? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, this is the wave controller teacher. Ah. <laughs> he looks like onigiri. Oh my god! Oh, you, yeah, right? He looks yeah. like a rice ball. That was the girl earlier, the, the, the mask girl in the spandex. Ah. Whoa, this Heron? He's in Shinsu, right? Oh yeah, yeah, Looks yeah. Like oh no, he's the contract. He's the the contract guy. Whoa. But it looks like he's the only. Oh no, even the sleeping bag. No, he's usually yeah, sleeps. Yeah, he always sleeps. He's apologizing. Oh, hot damn, that was a. Oh, he's a guy. I feel like Leiloro did this forming contract on purpose. Oh, uh, this one? No, but aren't they supposed to? Because supposed Shinzu. To. Yeah, Shinzu has to. Oh, so this guy was acting. Oh, that is tough. That it didn't strain his stamina because he wants to. That image, huh? Yeah. <gasps> wow, they have to throw it so far. This ADC, right? A sniper? Yeah. This gotta be easy for him. Who shot that? <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah, this big dude. Thanos. <laughs> I'm gonna call him that. Thanos. Till we get his name. Dude, it's more like top lane. He's the the tank. It looks like the tank yeah. or the the barracks, right? The, yeah. The sword, Black March. What? Did she chase the light that brought him to all these people? It's like saying Bam's gonna turn on her. Or something with her with his new friends. He's gonna go with the light and leave her behind. So, dude, that guy's a chef. He was a chef. Really? The eye eyeball guy. Yeah. Oh. Endorsey. Endorsey. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> He's supposed to make friends? Oh, that's what this is? So it has nothing to do with the sword. Oh, wait. They're not talking to Anak anymore? The heck? Oh, no. She, she cut oh, ties with them. <laughs> it was the opposite. Why are they talking about earrings? <laughs> totally in sync. Look at that. <laughs> this guy, dude. Oh, man. So funny. Oh, shut down. Ah, forbidden to love. So she can't even love. Uh, a knock again. Wait, she's a princess. Wait, this girl's a princess too. Dang. I figured. Yeah, it's not really surprising that she's a princess, but yes, you know, she was. Yeah. To represent tribes and families. So there's 13 tribes and families. Hmm. Oh. So that makes sense why they didn't try to get the crown, they protected it. Whoa! Wait, if they fall, it looks like they're, they're gonna die. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Enough to prevent you from death, but... <laughs> oh, dang. How does that work? <laughs> 
Oh, wait. Straight up. Yep. Wait, is she even fighting the right person? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gator. <laughs> he passed. <laughs> yeah, nice. Good job. Oh, he's looking at all the intel. Yeah, I want to know about Anat. <laughs> oh, shoot. He just pushed her off. He pushed him off. Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, what? She's already dead? He's talking about her, right? Not Anak? No, he's talking about Anak. Oh, he's talking about Anak. What? Damn. Oh, oh Shinsu. Uh oh! Oh! Yeah, I kind of thought she's like way, she's way stronger than uh, Anak. Anak's orphan. orphan. So she's not even Anak. So the real Anak is, is dead. dead. So she took her place and say she's calling herself Anak. My niece. Wait, who is she talking to? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. She's here for revenge. Yeah. Dang. Wow. 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 Okay. Wow. Um. Anak. Yeah. This is, she, okay, so now we now we know what the hell is going on with Anak. Yes. Well, it's not like we were confused about her from the beginning. We just like kind of not really assumed, but we just knew her as like she was one of the princes of Jahad. But she's not. The Anak is the real Anak is the orphan mother. Yes. Of Anak. Yeah. So there's a reason we were wondering what was going on. Why there was a princess in the tests after she said that she was a princess so it's like what what is going on mm -hmm. then we found out why and yes she's an imposter and that's why she didn't go for the crown because of that change of pace because they found out what was going on so that's what she whispered to her that pissed her off yeah for imposter because she knows that she found out that she knows yeah. the truth about her but it's insane what happened to her mom because of the vengeance why would the princesses kill the mom's lover is it because he's a cook like what what is well what is going on the thing is i'm kind of confused because you know how we found out that she wasn't talking to anybody right well she is talking to somebody but that person's not there so that person oh. might be her husband Oh, the yeah. chef that knows how to cook. So maybe Anak is the one that's cooking it? Um, or he's like a microorganism that we can't see. Yes, but you know what? I totally forgot this. I'm sorry. No, I know why they killed her. Why? Him. It, because you remember at the beginning of the episode when they're all sitting down eating lunch mm -hmm. together? Down eating in the cafeteria. And, and Dorsey had came down and was talking to them. And they're talking about boys and ooh mm -hmm. la la. Mm -hmm. And she, remember she said... Princesses cannot love. Ah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Yep, that's right. That's exactly it. They had a rules. They yeah. had rules, she didn't follow it, and they had to do something about it. Yeah, they did something about it. Right. I feel like if you have the responsibility or the power of the sword, then that means that love, right, is considered danger, a dangerous emotion. Because you know how love can also lead to anger, can also lead to hate, and also lead to the, Different the dark emotions side. That like we just saw in BAM last episode. Exactly. So that's, that's, that's the thing about they can't have emotions. Well, 
it's specifically love because oh. it's the strongest emotion i think yeah i think yeah love is the strongest emotion and i think that's exactly why so so basically the the princesses came right mm -hmm. and killed them killed her husband yes and uh, that's why she's out here to get revenge that's the reason why she's here yeah she's here to kill all the princesses take all the swords and it looks like her first victim is in Dorsey. That's why she got so confused with Bam because Bam's a boy and she's like, how the hell did you even get that sword, right? That's, did she know that it was Yuri's sword? No, it didn't because and Dorsey told her that that was Yuri's own. Yes. Yeah, so that's why she was so confused with Bam. Like, what? What? Why do you have it? Like, you're a boy. Yes, yeah, so all she knows is that she's going after princesses, but she doesn't know specifically what they look like or the details of it. Yeah, well, this is what we know is that now I think what we're going to be seeing is that all the princesses mm -hmm. are going to be very different yes. because they all represent a certain tribe or family, right? So obviously, Endorsi is gonna, the one that looks most like a human. Yeah. Then we got Anak represents the lizard man. Yes. Lizard woman, right? Mm -hmm. Lizard girl, whatever. And then, well, I mean, Yuri, she's, she looks human. But she's extremely tall. She's extremely tall. Ah, so you think she's some kind of subhuman race? Yeah, I think right? so. Okay, okay. And I think that's going to be the second victim of Anak if Anak is able to kill Endorsey. You know what? I don't think Anak will be... Um, I, I don't know. There's something about her character. She's still young. She's still very young. and She's still a child. I, I highly doubt that she's going to turn out like the rogue that she wants to be. Yeah. You know? I, yeah. You know, I, I don't think that she has it in her. No, you She's know what? She's got vengeance. She, has, she does have the eyes of a vengeance. Like, she is here for that purpose. Yeah, her mom's dead because of what these princesses did. Her That's mom's true. dead. Her mom's lover, which was like a dad to her, is That's dead. True. That's she true. She has nobody. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Also, um, with uh, Bam and Rachel, mm -hmm. right? So, the whole Bam and Rachel, all that stuff. Kun doesn't want to tell him because Kun is trying to protect Bam yes. because for, you know, oh. but the thing is, that's not good. No. It's not good. Yes, the intentions are good, right? Hell has a path of good intentions. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that it, when Bam finds out that Kun's been lying to me because Kun said, I will protect him no matter how many times I have to lie. So that means that Kun's gonna be lying to him a lot of times. Yes. And when Bam finds that out that Kun's been lying, because obviously the more they hang out, the more they go through Alasta, stuff, they're gonna become closer. Mm -hmm. And the moment Bam finds out that Kun had to do something with why Bam didn't know certain things, or or no, Kun is the one that's responsible that told Bam about this lie. Bam's not gonna be happy about this. If he finds out that he, Rachel is Rachel, he will find out. Yeah. He will find out that Kun lied, and that's where we're gonna see another internal conflict with Kun and Bam. Yeah. Oh man, man, the moment he was that, I was like, oh, that's in the future, it's not gonna be good. No, yeah, in the future, nope. especially because um, after we saw Rachel's dream about him going to this light and going yeah. away from her with yeah. these, the group of people. Yeah. What is that about, though? It's like she's in the same cave reaching out to him mm -hmm. and then Bam is with uh, obviously all the group that we've been seeing and he turns his back on Rachel so she feels like he's gonna leave her that's it's, what she wanted but she's depressed about it because she does care about him but yeah. she has her own intentions that she wants she has her own desires that she wants so bad that she she wants to uh, split she wants yeah she wants to split uh. But she does have that twinge in her heart because she cares about him. You saw her hiding in her room and her just keep thinking about it. Yeah. She feels bad. I, I, but she feels bad, but also like saying we can't meet each other because we're just going to be a burden. I mean, if, if you and I or, you know, you separate from me and then you go there and I see you in another world and then you say I'm a burden... It doesn't make sense. But her intention is right because she's trying to protect Bam because Bam tried to protect her. Oh, she that's doesn't right. want him getting hurt because of her desires. I see. Okay, so yeah. So she's not doing it technically for selfish reasons. Right. Even she just wants to do this solely herself 
and without him getting hurt. Ah, that's why. Because it's like probably for her, she's like, damn it, why did you follow me? Or like, why yes. did you come in here? Yes, she feels responsible for him. Ah, okay. I see. Yeah. So whatever she's like going for must be really big. Well, yeah, her desire, she was willing to risk everything to go and see the stars. She was willing to leave him, but now he followed her and she's like, Crap. I don't know. It's not, it can't be the stars because obviously it is really the stars. Then why not watch, look at the stars together? Because the rules are you cannot be acquaintances doing this right. tower together. Ah, that's right. That's right. Wait, but going back on the last episode, remember I was like, what, what is Rachel? Because why did they have to, uh, and Dorsey have to ask her permission? Oh. Right? I mean, am I, am I overthinking that? That she asked her for permission? Because think about it now. She, when though she's a princess. Yes. So that's a princess asking her for permission. But am I overthinking it? Yes and no. Okay. I feel like you are overthinking it. But right. at the same time, it does make sense. Since Endorsey is a, a princess. And it seems like Rahel doesn't have any special powers. At least not that we know of. Right, right. But... Uh, but she's an irregular, so maybe that's why the princess... That, I, maybe that's why Endorsey is kind of looking at her with curiosity or uh, listening to her. No, I think Endorsey, the reason for that is because killing is, is like violent. That's something evil people will do. But then Rach, she can look at Rachel as like this little innocent, naive girl. Mm. Like that's in her teammate, that's her teammate. Yeah. And she's like, it's okay if I kill her, right? You're not going to judge me type. Maybe. Right? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe it's just that. But I feel like it's something like the way Yuri was with the Black March and Bam. Mm -hmm. She felt curious because he was an irregular. Irregular. So this is another princess running into another irregular. Damn. What the heck? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So, and Dorsey being a princess, you know, it's not really shocking. Mm -mm. To a point, but it is kind of shocking. It was shocking for me because first, and Dorsey comes out off as really evil. Yes. Right? Yeah. And we think princesses are supposed to be good. Right? Mm, I wouldn't... Uh, yes and no. Yes. Yeah, I think princesses are supposed to be good. No? I wouldn't think of them as good because you remember we heard about Kuhn's half-sister. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. yeah remember yeah, yeah, she yeah, used right, Kuhn. That's right. That's, yeah. right. that's right. Yeah, that's right. But, yeah. Okay. In, in that sense. But, I mean, evil as in like, let's kill everybody. Oh. Kind of thing. Mm, when you gotta climb the tower, you gotta do whatever. Yeah, that's true. We only seen two out of thirteen, right? Yes. <laughs> too early, guys. It's way too early. Yeah, I spoke too early. All right. So also, um, we also know the five different roles, mm -hmm. right? We got the ADC top lane jungler support and um, carry. Carry. Oh uh, yeah, or carry. No it? ADC top lane tank. Yeah. Bottom. So yeah. So the fisherman, okay. fisherman close combat. Is um, Mechju. It's not <laughs> Mechju. It's it's as uh, it's not Kun. No. Cause I thought that was gonna be Kun, but it looks like Kun since he's on computer. Do you don't you think that he's part of the support? Do you think it's support or scout? Oh, the or the scout. Scout. Yeah. Right. Right. Because he's scouting, he's getting info. Right. Right. Yeah, I'm or something. Not, I'm not sure, but he's like close combat too. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah he's ADC. Cool. Yeah, ADC. Guys, correct correct us if we're if we're wrong. Um, but yeah, fisherman. And um, wait, who said that she was a professional fisherman? The princess Yuri. Yuri. Yuri's a fisherman. That's yeah. right. Yuri's a fisherman. I thought I read that wrong earlier because I thought it was saying um something like the fisherman of the yeah. I thought so too. Yeah. Yeah, but it was different. Yeah. Yeah, and then um, Gator, he's the uh. Mm. The sniper from a long distance. So it looks like the long distance sniper is tank, which is actually interesting because you would think tanks are going to be the one that's in the front line. Yes. But they're throwing spears from way back. Yeah. Oh, it's because they need a buff arms to throw it. Because oh. it's so far. Oh. Nah, man, you think Bam's going to throw a, a spear that far? No. Yeah, exactly. Maybe he could propel it with his uh, Shinzu. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. But, oh, speaking of Shinzu, so the mid, mid lane. Where it's uh, Shinzu users. Yes, wave form, yeah, wave the, controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're the Shin Shinzu users. 
and um, now now we see which who has the power of Shinsu. Mm-hmm. So we have the one orange guy. We have the girl in the spandex, Kim Possible. Yes. Yeah, which by the way, Kim Possible got a patch on now, and you know, man, I liked it in the spandex. Really? Yeah. I like her both ways. Yeah, spandex, and then. Uh, <clears throat> Cause she seems deadly with the spandex, but now she looks innocent, right? She looks a little bit softer. Yeah, that's exactly why. Yeah. And um, bam, and then uh, what else is what else is what else was there? Who else was there? Yeah. Oh yeah, the sleeping bag. Oh yeah, sleeping, sleeping bag. guy. Yeah, sleeping guy. And then they, they had to do this uh, contract. Yeah, and the creepy girl. And the creepy girl. Who's so the that's what girl? she was doing. Oh, the the gothic girl. Yeah, the gothic girl that uh, Kuhn had sneaked in. That? Yeah, mm-hmm. a little girl. It must have been Shinzu she was doing. Shinzu <laughs> She's dead. so funny though, man. She looks like those Annabelle, you know, like those yes, horror movies. I was thinking that yeah, too. Yeah, it's like Annabelle. Like, she just, like I could just imagine her just walking down the hallway with a tricycle, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And then just doing this and then you just like faint. <laughs> Man, it's so funny. I love like the side characters here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but anyways, um, yeah, so it's her. Uh, Shinzo users, they had to sign a negotiation uh, contract, right? Yes. And uh, whoever's making that contract, it's like this huge, uh, I don't know what it is, a dinosaur. It looks like a big turtle head. A big turtle head. Ah. Which is funny because we keep hearing turtle, turtle and turtle. then all of a sudden it looks like a big turtle head. Ah, okay, okay, right, right, right. Okay, and then it's a contract. Yeah. Okay. So he was floating in Shinzu, right? Ah, uh, now I see. I understand now. So even like the couple two episodes before, you know how after some of them fought, there were some people that did this with a spear. Oh. Okay. So those were the Shinzu users. So the oh. Shinzu users has a spear, right? So on the on the throne game, we saw someone, some people used to do the spear thing. Yeah. So now now we're seeing what the spear is, and basically what they said every round you have to make a contract every single level. It's not just one contract, it's one contract each level. Oh! So that's why everyone's, uh, the one in the first crown, you see them uh, when it's holding over. Holding it. Yeah, holding it. So they had to sign that contract for that game, and then once they go to the next one, they have to sign the next contract for this game, and then the next, next, next one. They have to keep signing a contract every single level. But Bam didn't even do that. He was no. just, he just became it. Yeah, he became it. That's why uh, Lerolo's like, what the hell? Or like, you know, that's why he's trying to keep it from um, the, the, who's that guy? The testing yeah. person. Like, he's, he's keeping a secret from him. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, <sighs> wow. Yeah, that's what's going on. There's a lot of drama going on in here. A lot of drama. Yeah, princesses. Yeah, and... we got princesses, imposter princesses. Right, right, right. Yeah. Damn. All right. Well, this is getting really fun, mm-hmm. interesting, fun things. You know, it's not just about them. T- There's a lot of mysterious backstories of. Oh, There's a lot of mysterious backstories of uh, the, the featured characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's really cool. So. There's yeah. There's just so much going on. We're gonna see what happens with Kuhn. We're gonna see what happens with Bam, mm-hmm. R- Rahel, mm-hmm. and Dorsey. Yep. Yeah. And, oh yeah, what the hell is uh, oh the uh, Rahel and chocolates? Dude, you know how girls, you know the whole depression thing, PMS, depression. You gotta love that chocolate. You, you, it's like a binge. Yeah, I but know that. But then that, look, yeah. look at look at her size, man. She only looks like she can eat one one chocolate bar. She True. ate like fifty or forty. Like, that's very yeah. dumb. That's not regular. That's not. It can be sometimes. Sometimes. So well, know. girls can eat. Sometimes girls can eat. Yeah, I know girls can eat. I, I know that. Even if the girls can eat, the chocolate bars, they should probably eat max five chocolate bars. Not 50. We're talking 50. It was really 50? Well, it looked like tons because Gator lost all his chocolates and Gator has usually have a lot of chocolate, so she eat up. So, yeah. Maybe she's got a power of eating. <laughs> or it just dissolves in her stomach. Yeah. Something. Yeah, dissolving. All right, guys. Uh, that was uh, Tower of God, uh, episode number six. All right. Thank mm-hmm. you guys so much for joining us. We'll see you guys very soon for the next episode of Tower of God. Yes. Woo. Mm. It's uh, position time now. Yeah, position time. Yeah, no more team game. So cool. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys next time. Till then, stay safe. Have a great day. And we'll see you next. And we'll see you guys soon. Yeah, we'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.